Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube, Eli Fishman Sports. We have another interview today. I'm joined by a former New York Yankees prospect and current player for the New Britain Bees, Vince Conde. Vince, thank you so much for coming on today. Yeah, thanks, Eli. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming on. You got to play at Vanderbilt for the Commodores. You know, almost every single young baseball player dreams of playing at Vanderbilt. You know, known for the best facilities, best players. Tim Corbin, one of the best coaches in all of baseball history. Can you talk about about your experience playing at Vanderbilt and how you like that program there? Honestly, I have nothing bad to say about it. It was awesome, great time, um, best three years of my life probably. You know, baseball is enjoyable. Corbin made it a good environment to. To uh, connect with everybody, and you know, it was it helped that we were always good, so we won a lot of games. What was one thing that Tim Corbin preached that you think has helped you out most throughout your baseball career? Um, there's so many things. You know, he just he, he just always made sure that you were a good person on and off the field too. That that always stuck to me. It was always don't just be a baseball player. You know, be a person outside of this because. Yeah, you're a baseball player, but you got to learn how to carry yourself because it's not just your name, it's also your family. So that always stuck with me. So you played in the 2014 College World Series. Not many people can say they played in the College World Series. Eight of only 200 Division One teams uh, get to play in the College World Series. And not many people can say they <laughs> won it and have a College World Series ring. Can you talk to me about, you know, TD Ameritrade Ballpark in front of that 45,000 people? It's every college baseball player dream. You're talking about that whole atmosphere. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it was crazy, honestly. You know, like you said, a dream come true. You're watching since you're a kid, so once you finally got there, you're like, wow, this is it. You know, like you said, 45,000 people packed. Um, the whole stadium yelling. Our fans were crazy. Um, you know, obviously, there's, there's nerves and everything. But it's just amazing to play there. It's, a, it's just a, a, an experience that will never be taken away from me. So... The New York Yankees drafted you. They brought you up to many levels of their minor league organization. You know, the Yankees are the most prestigious team in all of baseball. Um, known as one of the most prestigious organizations in all of sports. What does that organization mean to you? How do they treat you? Just talking about that organization and how it meant, what it meant to you to play there. That meant a great deal. You know, obviously coming out of college, Yankees, it's just like, wow, it's the, it's the Yankees. You know, it's, it was my favorite team growing up, so... It, to be able to play with them was a dream come true again, just because, especially coming out of like winning the national championship, um, I was super excited. And throughout the years, they treat me well, you know, it's a good organization, they treat you well, take care of you, um, and I bounced around a bit, but you know, they were always good, and I, I learned a lot from being there. Again, they were, they're, they're a class, classy organization, you know, they're, they're no, no facial hair, which now I can yeah. grow it out a little bit, but you know, they always clean cut, you know, college show, they're, they're always, they're by the book, so it's, it's a good, good organization to be in. Taking a step back a little bit, uh, the Yankees drafted you, and you were playing in the College World Series, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, you know, they say, or uh, nowadays, um, you know, when watching the College World Series now, you see guys popped up, the, the other day they were drafted, you know, and I love the draft, playing in the College World Series after just being drafted by the Yankees, is that in the back of your mind, or is that totally blocked out, is it hard to think about? You know, you think about it, but once you're in the College World Series, you, you don't think about anything else, really. You, you've you been training since August, so you have yeah. one goal in mind, and you're right there. Like you said, eight teams left, so, you know, Yankees will come later after you finish the College World Series. So, yeah, you, once you're there, you kind of block your mind away from that. What's the biggest lesson that professional baseball has taught you? Man, you, you can't quit. you got to, especially baseball, it's just... Everybody says the grind, right? You're going to go up and down. You're going to have a lot of failures more than... A, success so you just got to stay strong and and even though when you want to quit when you when you're frustrated you just got to stay keep your head up and, and keep working you know i know it's a political answer but it's just the truth you're it's playing a, no no go ahead go ahead you're playing for the new britain bees now in the atlantic league you know obviously you want you want to be an affiliated ball but and many people don't perceive any ball too well but you know they class a treatment you're playing in a beautiful stadium you get plenty of fans um, playing in a great league, a lot of great, great competition. Can you talk to me about this league, how you like it so far, the competition, and, you know, this these organization, how you like it? Yeah, so far, so good. I've only, you know, it's my third day, about to play my first game, so obviously from, from what I can see, a lot of veterans, guys like Brock have been in the league, you know, a lot of guys like that, so you have, it's a good competitive, good competitive nature to be in, and, and it's, again, 
besides Pro Bowl, it's the best competition you're going to face. So. If there's one thing that you're you know, hoping to work on to make it back to affiliated baseball, what do you think that is? Something you're working on the most? Hitting, you know, for sure. Just trying to be as consistent as I can and learn from, you know, guys from the team and also from the coaches. So, As you mentioned, you're about to play your first game. What's your mental approach going out there? Just have a good time. You know, it's been a month since I've played, so it's just going to be fun to be out there again, you know, being and get dirty and stuff. So um, so how did exactly did you find out about this visa organization? You know, did they con come to you? Did you come to them? Um, it was kind of both. You know, my agent kind of talked to him and stuff, and then he let me know, and then I got in contact with Paul and with Wally and stuff like that, and then we just, we were able, we were able to work that, work out a contract, and now I'm here, so. You're um, playing under Wally back, you know, one of the, known as a great manager, a player's manager, and one of the best managers in all of my early baseball in the past few years. How did you like him so far, and are you excited to, you know, play under the oh. famous Wally back? Oh, for sure, you know, a lot of stories about him, so I'm excited to be here, you know, with him, and so far he's been great, he's been, you know. Just to, like you said, player's manager. He's a, he's a good guy to be around. All right. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate Thanks. it.